Hello everyone and welcome back to another Cell to Singularity Beyond video and today we're going to be continuing on with the latest um, updates to the game so Simulation 19 or Part 19 whatever you want to call it. It's been um, just under a week since we last filmed now as you can see so it's been yeah 6 days 17 hours so what we're going to do is we're going to boost that to effectively make it 12 days to get all that extra currency so let's get a rock and roll in so oh yeah we've got all our missions done haven't we so We've already unlocked... Uh, ah, so we've got Raiju unlocked now. Okay, cool. So I did hop on a couple times after we did the uh, last episode just to continue doing these missions, but I didn't do anything else. So all of these North Star missions, that's all done. Um, start another one. I think we've also got... Oh, we've done that. Okay, cool. We've maxed out the Exoplanets one as well. We're still researching the North Stars because we had to get up to a certain level to unlock Raiju, I think it was. Uh, another constellation. We'll keep researching those as well. Get more of the dark matter because, I mean, that always helps. Upgrade the cards. Okay, cool. Right, what have we got? So we've unlocked something there. Where are we? So here's Rigel. So looking pretty uh, pretty BC. Nice blue colour there as well, actually. Cool. So where's that on our, uh, on the map of the local star sense? Let's just zoom out. Okay. Oh, yeah, there was also this star. I didn't show this, but I missed this one in the last episode as well. So we have the other star here. So this is uh, Funban, Fuban, probably butchering the saying of that one as usual, but yeah, there we go. So yeah, getting quite a cool star map going on. So we've got the further out stars, we've got the more local stars, obviously closer to the sun, and Alpha Centauri here. So yeah, we're getting quite a cool little uh, little expansion out now. It still makes me, it still bothers me like crazy how there's an Alpha Centauri here, but then there's one further out over here. So what's that all about? <laughs> but here there's only one Alpha Centauri. There should be three stars, which is really weird. But yeah, that was something. I, that's something I'd definitely change. But um, yeah, anyways, so now we've got all of these guys further out to Polaris. So, right, where are it's Boost Polaris. Okay, cool. Right, so let's just get on to our mission. So we need to photo Rigel. So let's just get that out of the way. That's a nice and easy. So Rigel over here, the nice deep blue. Oh, yeah, it's looking good. So let's grab that. Nice. Oh, and actually, yeah, let's read about Rigel. What's Rigel saying? So... The life of a mega mass star is short and dazzling. Rigel A is a blue supergiant. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We will know a few, uh, three main sequence stars. It's young, just 8 million years old, and white hot. The star burns so brightly that it blinds Earth's telescopes, even from 860 light years away. Very cool. Right, so we photographed it. Nice. Okay, so we need to level up Rigel as well. All right, cool. Let's do that. Oh, what's this as well? Uh, yes, yeah, do another one of those missions. Uh, we've done all those. I guess we'll just do uh, one of those dwarf stars then. Okay, so by rank, right, so we've got a lot of currency to spend here, so we might as well get rolling. So Rigel done, straight to level one. New discovery, okay, one of the cards, what have we got? Cool, and we'll just get it straight to level two, actually, there we go. Nice. Right, so Rigel, what have we got here? So nuclear powerhouse, so... Rigel has the power to fuse ever heavier atoms, helium, carbon, oxygen, neon, silicon, all the way up to iron. Which is the highest a sun or a star can pretty much go to. No no star, I don't think, could go any higher than iron without going supernova. Um, the elements settle in an onion-like layers by mass... Onion-like... Onion-like... <laughs> okay. Onion-like layers by mass. The heaviest at the centre. Blue supergiants cool and reheat during fuel transitions, even dipping into red. Pretty cool. Right, so we've got that. Cool. Right, rank up Arcturus. Okay, that's... Awesome, so let's do that. There you go. Get you up to level one as well. Because we unlocked you last episode, didn't we? Cool. Or did we? Let's read really the cards here, didn't we? No, I'm not sure. So we got that. Alright, what's this? Oh, oh, hello. Hey, oh yeah, Van Marine. Yeah, we didn't unlock this last time, did we? Ooh, the purpley colour. Cool. So this is a white dwarf, isn't it? Van Marine is a dying white dwarf. That's two thirds the mass of the sun and just one percent of its size. The helium atmosphere has a dozen. A puzzling supply of heli elements, iron, magnesium, and calcium. They might just be the dust of a planet crushed by the super star, of the super dense star's gravity. Very cool. Okay, so there's Van Marine. So we've, I think we've unlocked the whole, uh, the whole squad now. Check it out. Hey, cool. Oh, that's cool. So we've got the dwarf branch, the main sequence branch, and the giant branch, and then the super giant. Come, on, we've got to have a hyper giant branch up here. We've got to have the big stars. Come on, be nice to see that. I mean, there's still plenty more stars that. Uh, to be added to this, because if we look at the achievements again, remember here. So we got obviously Polaris. There'll be one for Rigel down here, probably. There'll be one for Van Marines. But look, there's still all these other spare ones that don't have any 
unlocks yet, so there's still loads of stars that are going to get added, hopefully. That should be pretty awesome. Right, anyway, let's start. Bernard Star, let's get you up as well. Level 7. Nice. I like all these new soundtracks that are adding. Right, so we've got this. What's this? Uh, okay, another one of those white dwarfs. Very cool. Let's just click through all that. Okay, cool. So we've got some more cars there. Looking good. Okay. Right, rank up serious again. Okay, straight to level 6. Nice. That's a good thing about coming back a week later, is you've got so much currency to spend. Uh, helium flash, what's this? Get you upgraded. When the core has enough heat to pressure, it ignites into a helium flash. The inner explosion happens in minutes as helium rapidly fuses into carbon. A giant star doesn't have the mass to fuse carbon, so it collapses, dies, and sheds matter, forming a planetary nebula. Cool. Uh, critical mass, we've already read that one. Uh, Van Marines, uh, get serious boosted. Nuclear powerhouse, we read that, didn't we? Yep. Uh, Polaris, we read both of those, didn't we? Polaris is a spectral... Yeah, we checked those out, and that one, yep. Cool. Once the star's core, did we read this one? Once the star's core is weaned of hydrogen, it matures into a late stage star. As before, Mastic takes size. Yeah, we definitely we read that one already. But yeah, there it is if you want to read it. Uh, Mastic takes size, colour, luminosity, and temperature, but now it also determines the manner of death. So yeah, the more mass, the more crazy things can go. Okay, what's this? So we've got another one of those. Cool. New discovery. Very nice. Supernova. That's a Rigel card. Oh, another new one. Okay, what's this? Black Dwarf. Ah, okay. Oh, that's probably for Van Marines. Which we haven't... Uh, that must be the second card. We haven't even unlocked the first card yet. Right, so Supernova. Iron Fusion takes more energy than the star can give. So the lighter fuel runs out in less than a second. Right, so l when lighter fuel runs out in less than a second, Rigel will collapse under its own immersed gravity and explode. This Supernova will blast out... Our blast will create heavy elements like gold and uranium scattered in stardust. So yeah, the bigger the mass of the star... Effectively, you know, the explosion will make higher elements on the periodic table. So, like, gold, platinum, like it said there, uranium. So, Earth, for instance, Earth, we're on right now. We know the Earth contains gold, platinum, all that, which means that the Earth itself was formed from a supernova. So, before the sun existed, there was definitely something else that exploded. And that, obviously, that material would have formed the sun, effectively. And then, obviously, some of that material would have formed the Earth, Mars. So, effectively, maybe Mars, Venus, they maybe they have gold. Buried deep down, who knows? But um, yeah, pretty cool stuff anyway. All right, so Van Marines. We still need to unlock this first card for Van Marines because we unlocked. It looked like we unlocked the second card, but we don't have the first one yet. Yeah, couldn't tumble. Why not? Right. Uh, we've got an achievement. What's this? So that's a Rigel. We'll get Rigel's level six. Nice. Okay, cool, cool. All right. So what else can we do? So I guess we will just level these. I mean, what are the tasks? Van Marines and Rigel. Okay, so let's do Rigel first. Get you up to level three. Nice. Cool. Pol Polaris as well, why not? Just get all the more currency we need. Arcturus, yep. Get you to level 2 as well. Try and get the higher paying ones up. Polaris as well. It's level 5 now. Nice. Guess how we look in there. Ooh, series 2. Ah, ah, so there's that. Bra so look, we haven't actually unlocked this card yet, but we can sort of do it from this menu here. So what is this? So, Black Dwarf. What happens after the last of a white dwarf's energy radiates away? It becomes a black dwarf, emitting zero light, or rather it will become one. In the future, this stone-cold uh, death takes longer than the universe is old. So no black dwarfs exist yet, as far as we know. Exactly. So, no black dwarfs at all. Yeah, it's that card there, but we don't have it yet. <laughs> right, how are we doing over here? Another achievement that is for Rigel. Nice. Okay, then we can just level up everyone else. We get Alpha Centauri, Sedna. Get those guys leveled up as well. More payout from the solar system objects as well. Always helps. Alpha Centauri. There you go. Haley's Comet as well. Awesome. Okay. Nice. What else have we got? Can we go all the way back to the sun maybe? Oh, we can. Level 18 sun. Look at the payout on that. My god. That's pretty wild. The sun is just making absolutely stupid amounts of currency now. Venus. Let's get you leveled up as well. Earth. I mean, how many can... Oh, my God. Really? Ah! There's the Earth with the cool uh, look we got on it. Cool uh, futuristic skin, I guess. There we go. Let's just click through all these. Get all the guys leveled up. Get all those cards. Oh, yeah. Maybe we'll treat ourselves to some of those superstars as well to get even more cards and stuff because we like to upgrade everything, so... There you go, series. Nice. 
I tell you, I'm really enjoying this expansion pack with all the stars. This is really, really cool. Jupiter Io. Nice. More for you. Excellent. Very nice. Ganymede, Callisto. Oh my gosh, we can just do them all. Wow, we. Ganymede. It's giving us tons of uh, dark matter stuff here as well, which is great. More constellation stars. Actually, we need to check that out. Actually, we may be able to get the Orion constellation finished now, because I don't think we finished that last episode. So we'll definitely check that out now. So where are we? Let's go over to it. So what have we got? Where is it? There? Yeah! Okay. So let's just fill in. Oh, we should have enough stars to do this, actually. Perfect. So this is the late stage, increases late stage stars. Okay, sweet. Oh, there's Raj away! In the constellation, of course. Actually, there should be... There's Beetlejuice, yeah. See, this should be an object that we should unlock at some point. I think that'd be really cool. Beetlejuice, Canis Majoris, maybe. Scooty, Stibsons, all those. Definitely, that'd be really cool. Right, so there we go. Got that unlocked. There we go. Give us the achievement for that. So look, there's still four more constellations that they're going to add as well. Really cool stuff. Okay. Right, so how are we doing here anyway? So there's Van Marine. So that's pretty far out by the looks of things. Oh, it really? Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's definitely further out. It's cool that these are all getting added. I really like this. So let's get a closer look at this guy. Hey. Pretty cool. Alright. Arcturus boost you. Nice. So Van Marines isn't automated yet, so we need to try and prompt that. So what we're going to do is we'll get ourselves another black hole. Because this will hopefully give us the rare, the cards we need. And maybe some more rarer ones as well. Alright, look at this blue star go. Oh yeah. And it's gone. But I reckon we'll definitely see black holes. You know, they've got the models for the black holes here. Look, there's a model for a black hole there. I reckon that we'll definitely see a black hole in this or in one of these expansions you know maybe it'll be Sagittarius A I mean I think that'd be a decent one I mean I reckon they'll eventually move on to galaxies and stuff once we really go down the line but we will see I reckon they'll keep doing the stars for the rest of this like, expansion and I reckon they'll move in a future update they'll definitely bring in galaxies and well, maybe we'll see you know if we're, if we're on to stars and I'll see the depths of stars there's going to be a black hole that appears at some point neutron stars because also we got the white dwarf but we're missing neutron stars and black holes. So, I mean, maybe maybe those are the objects we're missing in the uh, achievements down here. But, I mean, there's still loads of objects here. Look, we've got... There's Rigel there. There'll be two here for Van Marine. So, what's all these? There's definitely going to be... There's got to be a black hole or a neutron star included. They've got to do another wave of stars, I reckon. With the super massive hyper stars and all that. But we will see. Right, anyways. So, call this white door. So, that's the first card for Van Marines now. So, what is this? So, that automates it. White dwarfs take billions of years to cool, a testament to the immense amount of energy in their youth. The coolest ones on record are about 11 or 12 billion years old. They offer a widow, a window sorry, into the early universe, which is 13.8 billion years old. So only white dwarfs now are stars that were born pretty much at the beginning, probably. Black dwarf, let's get that leveled up. So we get all these, yeah, that will really speed things up. Sweet. Looking good. Oh, we've got this one. That's a special rare card there. Ste interstellar object increase, that's good. So we've got all that leveled up. There's Avcentauri as well. In theory, this should count as the interstellar object as well, because it is out of the uh, out of the solar system, so it would make sense. Right, anyways, how are we doing here? Let's get more stuff leveled up. But it looks like we won't be able to finish this episode until the game grinds a bit, so we need to obviously just let the game uh, do its thing for a while and just let the currency rack up and all this and that. So what I'll do is I'll come back in a couple of hours' time, and hopefully this will be completed here. I mean, we will see. How was that? I just unlocked it. There we go. Hey. Cool. But yeah, we definitely need to uh, wait a bit, because this could take some time, because I mean, that's a lot of grinding it needs to do there. I mean, what else have we got? So we need to upgrade Van Marines, don't we? Because this is only level one, isn't it? Oh, no, it's rank zero. Oh, yeah, but we definitely need to get some uh, leveling up on that going, but so we only need to level that up once to beat this, and then up rank up Rigel, and then just let it, let it run for a bit. So, okay, could be worse. But what I'll do, guys, yeah, like I said, I'll let the game run for a couple of hours. Probably go into Sandbox and film some videos in there in the meantime, actually. But, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a couple of hours' time. Okay, everyone, so we are back. It's been just over an hour, so I'm hoping this is enough. If we double it, then that makes it two hours. So I'm hoping that should be enough for us to finish this. So without further ado, let's actually go ahead and see if we can. Oh, it looks like we hopefully be able to, actually. Right, Rigel, done. And Van Marines, done. Right, cool. That right, says so Rigel up, nice and easy. Good stuff, and then Van Marine straight up as well. Nice. Oh, it's so small. Right, so 
Yeah, okay, done. Sweet. Okay, that's great. So we've got it all done. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Right, so that is all of this episode or expand or episode 19. Yeah, that's all of that completed now. I mean, I guess we can just get the uh, rest of these stars up as well. Because um, we're going to need them leveled up and grinding out for the next episode when that comes out. So, episode 20. Now, we'll have to start speculating what do we think is going to appear. I mean, my guess is it's going to be hypergiant stars, possibly. Or we're going to have neutron star, black hole. Because we know they have models for them in the game already with these. So, my guess is that. But we will wait and see. And yeah, see if my prediction is correct for those, really. So... Yeah, that pretty much does it for... Oh my god, look at all these. But yeah, that pretty much does it for this Cell to Singularity video. So we'll come back and continue once the new... Uh, or the next content update is released, the next episode. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to press that like button. Subscribe for more as well. And yeah, let's see if we can go for 100 likes on today's video. Girls, really, really, really appreciate the support. And yeah, make sure um, you guys all have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.